Hello, hello, and welcome to another episode of In Just One Minute or So. Today, we're going to continue with mental health first aid for substance related problems. We're going to talk about action two, which is listen non judgmentally. So, the point here is to listen to the person without judging them. Do not be critical, do not express frustration with the person for having this problem, and do not offer glib advice such as show some willpower. Avoid confrontation by all means. It is important to actually listen to what people are saying. Much of the time, the words people hear trigger a reaction in their own minds. This means that they have often switched off what the other person is really saying and are following their own train of thought. They might listen to the words, but they may not really hear what the other person is actually trying to say. Non judgmental listening means that the listener adopts a set of at attitudes and uses listening skills, verbal and non verbal, that allow the listener to hear and understand what is being said and enable the other person to talk freely and comfortably about their problems without feeling that they are being judged. Also, attitude is very important. The attitudes involved in non judgmental listening are acceptance, genuineness, and empathy. These are sometimes referred to as the core conditions, that is, because they are all necessary to create a safe, comfortable environment in which the person can talk more openly. Now, attending to a person who is distressed may evoke a number of responses in you, that is, fear, irritation, sadness, and a sense of being overwhelmed. These are normal responses to a difficult situation. However, it is important that you continue to listen respectfully to the other person, the one having the problem, and you avoid reacting to, to what is being shared. It is simple for someone to show that they are truly listening. You listen without interrupting. You do pay attention. You ask appropriate questions to make sure that both people are clear of what they are saying or what is being said. Listening to the words and the tone of voice and look at the body language all give you clues about how the person is feeling. Also, check understanding of what is being said by restating what the other person has just said and summarize facts and feelings. It is okay to have long pauses in the conversation. The person may simply be thinking or lost of four words. Finally, try not to sit directly opposite and facing the other person to reduce the appearance of aggression or invasion of personal space. And that's all for today. Thank you so much for joining us and see you in the next video.